Ok, Xiomara. Uh, you started as a tax agent. Do you remember how was that? Yeah, I started as a giving the, uh, getting clients. As getting referrals, clients, like right? as referrals. Then getting. I started liking it because I was getting money. Not a lot, but I was getting money. So then when you got me into talking like to get into the program as a tax referrer, I got nervous to do it because I didn't know how to use the program. But I started doing it and I liked the way I learned it and I started doing it and I saw how the money was coming in. So that's the way I started. That was easy. And I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. So first referral was just like a referring people, tax agent, just referring, sending all the W-2s by, by text message or email and then we did the work at the office and then when you saw the money coming in, I remember that the first year you referred like six people in just like one week. One week. Because it was the last week of tax season. I was like, wow, this lady is good. So I better teach her the software. Um, and then the next year you start using the software. And how do you find it? At first it was difficult, but then later? It, it, was, it wasn't difficult. I think it was that you're scared at that moment. Because and you're you, thinking that you're going to make a mistake right. with the paperwork of the client. But then you get, when your instructions and everything, I started getting how it was Better. working. Yeah, so but I you shouldn't feel uh, nervous because we always review the information at the office before we submit it to the IRS. Yeah, no. After that, right. yeah, I know we had to submit it. We double-checked everything before it will go into the IRS. So. Right. And then the first year you made like a... Like you have, of course, you made your first six referrals, and then you got a lot more clients because yeah. it was like a well, not everybody. You are like pretty much, I think, the the, the best, the, the most successful tax preparer because you made the first year you make like I remember maybe like 15 or 20, yeah. but usually don't get you. I will say to the tax preparer, do not get discouraged if you only get one or two or maybe three including yourself yeah. right yes. just do it and then every year it it grows you get like more clients right mm, yep and then now i don't know i think you have like a lot more oh, yeah. right and then the money that also the is money up. came along more. big incentive big the man, big incentive right yes so and then when you when you did uh, your clients and then uh, and then the good thing about working the software that is online Pretty much you have clients in Los Angeles and also in Bakersfield, Bakersfield, which is like how many miles? Like 50 or 100 miles? 100 miles. Away, right? 100 miles away. I have more customers in Bakersfield. I have, uh, I don't know, Texas. Trying to get to Texas. Oh, yeah. I remember you have clients like out of state and it's... Now I'm going to Washington. Oh, good. Yes. And what would you say to the, I have a lot of tax agents and tax preparers, when they start, they are afraid. What would you say to them? Don't be afraid. Just relax. And like you say, enjoy the moment that it's something, so it's a new experience that you get and that you have that you will never think that you will grow so much. I grew like in a year, I think I grew a lot. And yes, you did. And I, I still keep on growing because even though I'm not working, I'm still getting customers because I, I still give my cards. I still talk to people. Even in the street, I'm somewhere. I keep on talking, oh, I do taxes. I'm going right. to sell houses or whatever I'm going to have to be doing. So right. I'm not scared anymore because that went away already. So. Right. So what would you recommend to a new, someone new that that is just doing his or her taxes? What would you recommend, like, like off-season? When you have your 1,000 business cards, what do you do with them? I give them away everywhere I go, stores, my family members. How do you start it? With family members and friends, of I course. I started with family members, myself, and that's the way I started getting to know myself with people, with friends mainly, mm -hmm. because they started spreading the word, oh, you know what, she does them, and I didn't have no problems with her. And usually when you give your cards away, you, don't, you just don't give one, you give like no, no, 10. No, no, you give like, oh, here, if you give me more people, you're gonna get more referrals, and... Because we pay them a we referral. We pay them money, so clients. they're like, oh, you, you pay us? Yeah, we pay you money. So, so they bring more. If you bring me more customers, or you know what, I'll, I'll do your, like, I always tell you, I always give them like therapy 
like to gain more customers, you know. Right, when they're nervous and, yes. and stuff like that. We always that. have to do that. So when when you do the when you do referral, so it's good. So you will say people do not feel afraid, don't feel scared. Just pass your business cards, and then it's a, it's kind of like automatic, and then it works by itself. It's embarrassing at the beginning. At the beginning, it's embarrassing, and you're like you don't know what to do at that moment. But you're like, okay, I'm gonna get paid, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get paid. Right. So that's Which your, is a big your, your your effort. You're you're putting low. I'm gonna get money, so I'm. I'm gonna start doing this. You right. Know, don't and also, scared, a, just do, give the cards away. And also, it feels good when you do a service, when you do it, when it's a, it's a good thing for them to have their taxes gone. And then I remember that you also have clients that have like a few years that they didn't do file taxes in a few years, and then you help them, and also you feel. Oh yeah, good. Well, we, we we I love helping people. I love that part. When you're like, oh my god, thank you for helping me. I didn't know who to do it with. I had and so many then, years. When they're happy, what is what you what you do? Giving more cards, so they're like, oh, you know what? Since I helped you, the best way to thank me, the best way to thank me is <laughs> help me out, <laughs> like I helped you, <laughs> because I kind of have lowered the price on you, so you help me with giving my cards to other people. Right, and that's the best thing. And I do it myself too, and then I get a lot more clients like that. And then one more thing. Okay, so that will be for the new ones. And now that we are expanding to other things too, so it is good. So I think we cover pretty much everything. So this is for the new tax preparer. So this is a great testimonial. So anything that, that you would like to add? I think just put an effort to it. Don't be scared mm -hmm. and try your best. And I know you will enjoy it at the end. You feel happy because you do enjoy the job that you make. Because I do. I'm always, I like it because you make people happy. When you give them that check, you say, oh, this is yours. It makes you feel good because they're like, oh, thank you. And they're so grateful to you. And that makes me happy. I like it. Oh, yes. Yeah, before I forget, once you get the clients and then what do you do? The, the worst thing I can do is that they will tell you, no, I did it already. But then what do you do? You just like overcome that and then you just keep giving your business card, yes, right? Yes, just keep on giving your gift card. One door closes, a lot more opens. And then yeah. one more thing, when let's say when you get a difficult client, what do you do? You just explain and then make it as clear when as you, possible. I have gone, we had that problem with customers that are really like difficult and difficult nervous. Difficult and nervous and not sure. The thing that I notice now is like to get a client mm -hmm. is to gain their confidence, right. gain their trust. Right. And if you give them trust, then you keep on talking to them and, you're, and they're going to go, oh, okay. You try to convince the client. They're like, oh, okay. And then you start getting the client that way. Right. So the difficult, there's no difficult clients. It's just pretty much you mis have to misinformed. Misinform, so they just yes. need information, the yes. right information, and then you tell them what they need to hear. and then. But yeah. there also we have those clients that are like, a, I need my money, I need my yes, money. Yes, we have those. Because the rapid refund is seven days, but sometimes, for some reason, it takes eight or ten days. But but sometimes they are lucky and it just need to take three or two days because yes. we have those cases too. I, thank God I have a lot of luck with most of my clients, and you know that. In a By few a week days. or a day, I... Um, they get paid, you get paid, everybody's yeah, happy. Everybody's happy, we all get paid. So. What do you do, what would you recommend when, when somebody gets like a, one of those difficult clients, impatient clients? Just talk to them, confront them, fix the situation, even though they're going to tell you, no, you're this or that. They're going to try to make an argue. They, or, yeah, and they're going to try to make us, as a preparers, feel bad. And sometimes it's not our fault. Sometimes right. it's their fault. Is the with IRS, the IRS didn't report and something. Them, and, they're yeah. not reporting the stuff and they're saying, no, it was your fault. And it's not our fault because sometimes they're not reporting their stuff and it's not right. us. So we're trying to explain the situation what it is, but some people don't want to understand it. So they have to go with the IRS and you can't do nothing about it. Right. So that will be, that will pretty much cover everything. The difficult clients, the goods and bads, and pretty much now that it's off tax season, what do you do? Give my cards out, still give my cards out. So. To get my customers for the lecture, and every time I give it to them, oh, you do taxes? I go, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, thank you. I'll, I'll save my card. I'll save your card so for next year. All right, very good, uh, Okay, Xiomara. 
um, what would you say with when with, to the people that are like the guys or girls like uh, oh I don't know this new client and I'm gonna go to his house or her house what would you recommend Will you feel nervous or what I do is I, I I tell them, let's meet her at a Starbucks, a public place, but what do you do? I have customers before that they don't want like to go to public places because maybe they're so tired and like, they're like, no, I come from work and you don't want to lose the client. Right. You so don't want to lose it, so I go. Say, oh no, don't worry, I could go to your house. But it's like, I'm not secure, but maybe it's a new You're customer. Nervous. I'm nervous. So I just go to my friend, hey, let's go, go with me. You know, I'm going to do this client. It's not that close, but let's go. Also, when, when I get re people referral like that, what I do is I feel confident because it's, if it's someone that, that knows, one of my clients knows them and I know that it's not a it's, maniac or it's yeah, not yeah, a crazy, yeah. so I just go and then I meet them. And yeah, sometimes they want to meet at their offices or at their houses and they wouldn't be inviting me to their house. Yeah, they are the planning house. to kill me or anything. But you know, that's, that's why they, they choose us because they're like, you come to us, we don't have to go make lines, we don't have to wait in the Right, yes, and they, that's what they, yeah, that's what they like. That's what they like us better than the big companies because when they go to the big company, big office, they say, okay, go uh, the desk number six, go the desk number ten. Yeah. But they know us for years and years, and that's what we have the Our customers, the customers' confidence and relationship over the years, and they know we go to their houses, and that's how we we earn their trust. Yeah, because now I have so many customers. It's like a family. You have this big family mm -hmm. that you're taking care of. Oh, you know what? It's tax every year. Every year. And also it grows you see this every year. Every and also the good thing about this is that we provide uh, the same service as the big companies with the rapid refunds and and our fees are similar. Similar to the big companies, which is good for us and and for them. But the advantage that we have is that we go to their houses. We go, we go the extra mile, literally, and then we go to the houses, coffee houses, whatever they want, at the time, whatever time they want to meet us, right? Yeah, and that's, that's good. You have to gain confidence and everything. You earn their confidence and and, yes, yeah, and trust. And trust. Yes, mainly. So you 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 drive a lot, which is. I drive a lot during tax season. Tax season. I drive a lot. But it's good. At the end, you feel satisfied because you did a good thing for them and also they did a good they thing are, for you. Most of my clients are really satisfied, uh, all of them, because that's why they come back every year. Right, and need it keeps growing. And what would you recommend? When, when is the best time to pass business cards? Oh, when they, are when they're, they get their check, and they're so happy, they're like, oh, thank you. And they get a check, oh, here, have some cards so you could give them to your friends and you could recommend me that you get your money on time. They're like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it to them because you did get the money for me. And they're like, oh, okay. And that's, that's how you get good. What I tell them is that the best way to thank me is give me more clients, clients. more referrals. That's the best way to thank me, and they do. Yeah, they do, they do. Most of the clients are like really thankful. I have gotten clients that it was my first time doing their taxes. Oh, what can I get for you as a gift? You don't need to give a gift because they're so thankful that we did a good job for them. Right. And we work like the same as the big company, and that was like so nice. I felt so nice, you know, because you did something really good. Really and they're good. so happy. So you're happy, and they're happy. So everybody. Happy. Everybody's so we happy. Like it. Yeah. And the business grows for you, for the company. So everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. We're all growing. We and keep we keep on growing. All right. Thank you, Xiomara. Thank you for your you're testimonial. Welcome.